right, so today I have some potentially very useful information that even uh, many dealership technicians may not know about and a lot of independent technicians at independent garages definitely won't know about and it can cause a lot, a lot of hassles uh, with your vehicle. What it has to do with is a misfire profile correction on the Ford vehicles. Now what happens is the uh, crankshaft pulley right has a little tooth wheel on it well that's what the the crank sensor uses to read the crankshaft position now if there's there's manufacturing inconsistencies inherently in these because they're getting stamped out and put out by the thousands they're not all going to be exactly the same so therefore the software in the PCM has to learn the exact characteristics of that crank trigger wheel now back in the day on Fords all they had to do was drive it along you go to about 60 miles an hour or so you let off the throttle and you just coast down to 40 do it like two three times and it would learn inconsistencies and all the characteristics of that exact trigger wheel on there on the new vehicles on Fords let's say 09 and newer and definitely 2011 and newer you have to do it in the stall and with the scan tool, the dealership scan tool. So many people may not know about this, and you're thinking, well, what does that have to do anything, anything? Well, the problem is you have to relearn this every time you do just about anything on the engine. I'm talking PCM replacement, uh, any, any internals in the, in the engine, pistons, crankshaft. You pull the crankshaft pulley off. You pull the transmission out to do some work on it, you bolted it back up, now it's not bolted up exactly the same and it's going to affect the harmonics of the crankshaft and ultimately the crank signal. So you got to relearn as the engine is made it to the transmission, everything bolted back together and the way it is currently so you have the most accurate information on the inconsistencies in that trigger wheel on there. On the new ones, it goes a lot further than just the trigger wheel. It's actually affected by the harmonics of the engine because everything on these new cars is so precise and needs this information. And this can cause a lot of problems. Someone changes an engine, someone changes, uh, all, all, you know, pulls a transmission on anything, and you're thinking, why do we need to do anything? You change the flywheel, it did, did anything. And you need to relearn this. What can happen? The guy gets done working on it, the technician, right? You go to drive it, and then all of a sudden you're gonna have all these misfire concerns, and it's just gonna start misfiring really bad. And that's because the the position of the number one TDC is not exact, and therefore everything else after that is off. So I actually knew about this a long time ago. I did an engine replacement on a Ford Fusion. I think it was a 2.5 liter, and that was like a year or two ago. I totally forgot to reset it after I was done with them. I'll admit, I knew about it. I knew he had to reset it, but I totally forgot because it was a whole engine replacement. It was a really complicated job. And proof in the pudding. Came back a couple weeks later. No, it was a week later or so. It was a rental car, and it had a couple different cylinders misfiring. And it's like, how can a couple different cylinders be misfiring? It's a brand new reman engine. Actually, it was a new engine from Ford. It wasn't even a reman. And then, of course, when I do engines, I put all new spark plugs and all my stuff. Checked everything out. Everything's fine. Forgot to do the misfire profile correction. A lot of other people, um, technicians, they get these problems on these cars out of nowhere, and they they have these misfires. They cannot figure them out. It, it's not fuel related. It's not compression related. It's not ignition related. What is going on here? They get the field engineer rep out from Ford and they do a misfile profile correction and the concern is totally gone. It's amazing how much um, the software can affect the overall running of the engine, the drivability of the engine. So without babbling anymore, I'm going to show you exact procedure on the scan tool and uh, if you're having any weird concerns like this where a, a place just cannot figure out what is causing this misfire, why is it running so poorly and mainly misfires, have them take a look at this. Have a dealership uh, do this for you so that they can. It's a really simple process, it only takes a few minutes, and immediately thereafter, they're going to know if the misfires are gone or not. That's how simple it is, but it's a very, very important step. A lot of technicians uh, just totally forget to do. Okay, and I'll show you on our scan tool how this procedure looks on here. 
basically go into the little tool on there and it'll do the misfire correction for us. What's well, gonna warn you about a few things up here is that if you change anything out on there, crank sensor, uh, crank dampener, uh, the whole engine, any of the internals in the engine, you change the PCM, you replay, you took out the transmission to work on, you put it back in. You need to relearn this misfire profile correction because everything is different on there as far as engine vibrations and harmonics that go through there and it needs to relearn the trigger wheel itself. So go into the tool here, it's going to make sure we can do it. First thing you got to do is make sure that the engine temperature is at normal operating temperature, 176 or higher, and we're at that right now. So we got it learned, but that's the old misfire profile correction. We need to relearn it. So we're going to go to the next box and it'll be enabled and it'll start relearning the engine the way it is right now. Okay, so we got the, we cleared out the old information. We are enabled to learn the new information and then it's gonna have its little hit counter on here, how many times it wants to read that and learn it. So all you gotta do is rev the engine slowly up to over 3200 RPMs, right? And then let off and you're kinda of doing the same thing as before in the old days. As it winds down, it's gonna learn the uh, misfire profile on there, which basically is the manufacturing defects in the trigger wheel. So we'll rev it up, let off, and it'll learn. I'll do it one more time, and we'll fully learn it then. See, we're at zero, we're happy, everything's learned, and now the engine should run perfectly normal with no abnormal oddball misfires that are actually caused by the software on here. So I hope someone somewhere gets uh, some use out of this video. It's a little known fact about new Ford vehicles. I'm sure other manufacturers is the same way. Um, but if they don't know about it, they can really run around, run around. They just don't know what's going on then and what to do. And uh, the one guy uh, at the Ford school told us they put a cylinder head on it before they called the Ford ser a service rep trying to quell this concern of a misfire on it. Uh, 2013 edge uh, so they can get pretty crazy the diagnosis because there's been nothing like this in the past this requirement you could literally fix a car hand it off to the customer and then they drive it and eventually they'll do those three cycles of 60 to 40 coast down you don't need to even do it but nowadays everything's so sensitive so hopefully it helps